Happy non-league day. I would say there probably isn't quite as many channels out there who have covered as many non-league teams as I have over the last year, year and a half, two years or whatever. I absolutely love it. Where big football teams and huge football corporations and uh, companies and bodies, UEFA, the Premier League, football clubs like Man City, Newcastle and PSG, they can be very selfish in their own interests, but non-league is the complete opposite. They are selfless in their interests and they usually help out the community. None more so than here in Scotland where I've covered teams like St. Rocks just yesterday, you can watch that video now, and teams like Glasgow Perthshire where they have volunteers that are at the club almost every day cutting the grass, building gyms and having kids coming in to use the facilities and stuff. It really is amazing what non-league football offers the communities of the UK. And today I am going to be seeing East Kilbride play. Look, this is this bench here is donated by Alex Simpson, East Kilbride CC Cricket Club. This is a cricket pitch. I take it that is East Kilbride's cricket club. The East Kilbride Stadium is just over there and they actually do have plans to build a new stadium which I'm a little bit gutted about because every time I come to uh, to K Park I get to come and see the nature. There's a huge huge country park all the way around there as well which is uh, which is really nice. But yeah, I'm actually taking some, uh, I'm doing a crossbar challenge at half time. A little bit nervous. I hope I don't make an absolute arse of myself in front of uh, the patrons of East Kilbride. But yes, Lowland League Cup action today between East Kilbride and Gretna. I'll tell you a little bit more about about it when we get inside. And so East Kilbride, probably one of the um, most well-connected clubs in the world. It's good all the shirts that you've got in here, isn't it? <laughs> it is good, but um, yeah, look, I've made a video here before. Um, I've made a couple actually, but uh, so I'll link them in the description box below. But um, as you can see here, just uh, taking everyone through the record again. <laughs> um, as you can see here, look, surpassing Ajax's record of 1972 achievement of 27 consecutive victories. Um, it was quite the story. Ajax held the most consecutive victories, league victories or competitive victories ever. And it was surpassed by East Kilbride and Ajax presented them a shirts. And uh, East Kilbride have also played Celtic in uh, the Scottish Cup before. They've got signed shirts of Cantona. I think there's Pele and Messi through there. We also have Ronaldo look. There's even the Olympic torch which passed through um, East Kilbride during the London 2012 Olympics. So yeah, very well connected club. But look, this was uh, in the big main Scottish Cup. And today is Lowland League Cup action between East Kilbride and Gretna. So a little bit of a calm before the storm here right now. Look how uh, I'm here very early at the game as per usual. I absolutely love it getting my clips and uh, chatting to everybody that I need to from the club to set up the uh, the crossbar challenge at half time. So fan base is sponsoring this video. Fan base do the ticketing for East Kilbride Football Club as well as loads of other football clubs all around the country. So uh, yeah, if you do like football, then download Fanbase and buy some tickets. But basically they're running a competition on their Instagram and on their Twitter. They tweeted out and posted on Insta a few days ago uh, asking their followers, and I've shared it on my um, socials as well, so my followers, um, how many times they think I can hit the crossbar at half time out of five goes from the edge of the penalty area. God, I'm actually getting a bit nervous now. I reckon it'll be, uh, I reckon, I don't know. I reckon I'll get one. I'd like to think I'd at least get one. I just want to kick the ball off the ground. But yeah, a massive thank you to Fanbase for sponsoring this video. So um, some of the Gretna guys, if you could just uh, introduce yourselves firstly. Uh, Stephen Hatfield, first team manager. Ian Martin on the board at Gretna. Perfect, and we've just met, so great to meet you and get you on the channel when we've met a couple of times before. Um, how has the season been going for Gretna? Puff, I think <laughs> I think's the best way to put it. I yep. came in in October, um, they're not a particularly good situation. and. Um, and listen, to be fair, it hasn't really improved an awful lot, unfortunately, due to, uh, well, there's different circumstances, but just be glad to get this season over, to tell you the truth. Yep. Um, look forward to for blank slate and a fresh start next season, you know, I think yep. that's pretty much the... That's very much, and yep. sort of starting the planning for next season. Already, nice. So. Well, it's cup action today, isn't it? Yes. So maybe takes away from the league a bit and... 
Yeah, well, Wednesday, into Wednesday night also was a cup game and a uh, good result against the good Dalbidi side. And yep. on no illusions, I seen uh, East Kilbride are right up there in the league for a reason. They're a fantastic side, great facilities, great players, great experience. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it'll be a tough game, but absolutely it takes a wee bit of pressure off today. It's not nothing really to lose, to be fair. Of course, and it's a non-league day today. Yes. Which is. is why I'm here. I love it. I love it. Non-league football, as you know. Yes. Um, why should more fans come and watch games at this level? Um, they want to see want to see proper football there's none of the sort of divas that you get in the premier league um as you know sam we go around what 70 80 games a season yeah plus, so, yeah uh, this is where all the action is so i'd encourage everyone to get along to a non-league game when they've got the opportunity so he's brought balloons along right mate explain why you've done that yeah i've done it for the ukraine because obviously it's devastating what's going on over there so yeah be good to show these balloons today and Oh, what a lovely touch, mate. Well, um, to everyone watching, this is Leon. You may have seen him in a couple of videos. LMC Vlogs yep. is your channel, so I take you're doing a video today as well. Uh, no, not today. Oh, not today, it's right? Okay. Oh, okay. So he's just doing yeah. his bit for um, yeah. for Ukraine and stuff, anyway. But yeah, mate. Um, everyone, go and check out his channel. Thanks. And um, so, what brings you along anyway to East Kilbride? Well, I've always supported them because I used to play with them as well. So, yep. Um, it's always been a club that I've wanted to go back to. So. Nice. Yeah. And score prediction today against Gretna, do you think yeah. they'll get the win, East Kilbride? 3-0. 3-0, 3-0, perfect mate, enjoy. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. yeah, really is a beautiful day to come and uh, watch some non-league football, and I could have like easily been at the Rangers um, charity, uh, char uh, All-Stars game against the World Legends or whatever. Liverpool have got one of those games today as well, but on non-league day, with what my channel's about and showing the best of non-league football, I was at St. Rocks yesterday and I've done so much coverage of non-league, I felt like I couldn't not come here. And look what a beautiful day this is. And uh, look how close you can get to like the linos and the players, you can hear what everyone's saying. And I'm gonna stay up here just for the first half, just because I think this is where the majority of the action's gonna be. East Kilbride are a very good side. The Lowland League has already been wrapped up by Bonnie Rig Rose, who are going to have to play the Highland League champions and the bottom team in League 2 to see if they can get to the SPFL. Um, but yeah, East Kilbride are a good side. They had a poor start to the season, changed managers, um, and now they've had a really good run. I think they're like fourth maybe in the league, um, second or third or something like that. But um, yeah, they're up there anyway at the moment, but they can't mathematically win the league. Gretna, on the other hand, are penultimate, I think. Only Vale of Leithen are below them, who are probably going to go down Vale of Leithen. I think Gretna will be safe. Um, but they've just relayed their pitch. They've had a lot of stuff to do off the pitch as well as on it this season. So, um, yeah, I imagine that East Kilbride are, are firm favourites to win this one. So hopefully we can see some action up here. Ah, stop complaining, Come on, Colby! Oh, I hope I get his name right, Joao Victoria, I think his name is. But he is um, Portuguese. And obviously I've just been out. Oh, they've hit the bar again! Oh, they've hit the bar again! And obviously I've just been out in Portugal recently. Um, so it's amazing to see a Portuguese player here for, for East Kill Bride. Absolutely love it. And they've got a Kiwi centre-back who's played in the World Cup against Ronaldinho and Kaka. And now he's playing against Gretna, the biggest game of his life. It's quite good. Port needs to play just a local football team. I yeah. Needs to play. yeah. And who's the best player out there today? I like them all. I like Jao. Yeah. The whole team, the whole East Kilbride works. They work at a team, and yep. East Kilbride. Yep. It's quite good. And what's been, what's the best part about supporting East Kilbride? I mean, I love non-league football. What, what do you, what are your thoughts on it? I used to go. Uh, it's because the people are friends here. So yeah. I'm out yeah. And it's quite good to go to go to different. I go all, all over the place with them. Yeah. Nice. Home and away? Home and away. Oh, amazing. What's I'm been like your best trip then? Gretna? You've been to Gretna away, I take it? I've been to Gretna. I've been to Gretna seven times. I've been, oh, yeah. I've been, been away up the Highlands. I've it's been dedication. To so you've been to all the promotion playoffs against yes. Cowden Beef and uh, Cove Cowden and all that? Beef, Cove and Bucky. Bucky. yeah. Amazing. On the trip up to Aberdeen and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Love quite it. good. It's quite good going to different places. Yeah. There we go, the perils of non-league football, dodging the balls. Protecting my camera. <laughs> the main man, Midgey Miller. Interviewed him when I was here at East Kilbride before. He's a Scottish Cup winner with St Johnston. Been there quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. Been in... Oh, yay! Yeah! What a goal! 1-0, there we go. Was that your... That's the key, isn't it? That's Stephen Old. 
Uh, Was that Stephen Old? Old? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stephen Old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a. Uh, well done, Stephen. Is, he's played in the World Cup, hasn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Against Brazil. Yeah, he's played against Brazil, and now we've seen him score against Gretna, the biggest game of his life. There you go. So now they've changed it to Glasgow United. Yeah! Oh, what a goal! Free kick. That was a good finish, wasn't it? Uh, good free kick. Yeah. Two 0 Floodgates could open now. Do you think? I don't know. Last time we played, well, last time we played them down at Great Number Two Seven Zero. Right. So you reckon the same again today? Yeah. Might be seven now. They've got a tough task because they're from such like a remote area. I know. They, it's find it hard to pick up players, whereas like you've got old internationals and I know, cup winners I, I and stuff. I know, so it's I don't a, know. Yeah. Jow. Oh, Jow again. Still Jow. Oh. Press that. Oh. Yes, there we go. Jow dribbling around all the defenders and I setting know. them up. Quality, wasn't it? Yeah. Half time penalty check. Right, Leon, I need your help. Yeah, the, the crossbar challenge, yeah. Oh, God, oh, God. nervous, I'm nervous. Oh, I've got, got a live crowd as well. Got you as my cameraman here for me, uh, for my crossbar challenge. You voted, haven't you? How many do you think I'm going to get? One. He thinks I'm going to get one. At least it's not none, but yeah. it's not quite five. I think I might have to go on the mic as well. Oh, the hell. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, fan base has asked some polls. To guess how many times Sam can hit the bar out of five shots. So we want some uh, some encouragement for Sam. I'll just let him have a wee walk with you. Yeah, just wanted to say, uh, oh, it's strange hearing my own voice. Uh, thanks to everyone for coming out for obviously non league day. Right, here we go. I'll stick that there. And yeah, mate, you just come behind me. Yep. Oh, you reckon one? Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So, Leon, you're saying one, aren't you? Yep. Go on. Fans behind them. Oh. oh. Heavier than what I thought. It's an embarrassing start. I have to put a bit more power on this one. What do you reckon? Oof. Hiya. Yeah, the hell, boys. Bloody hell. People who said zero are probably really happy right now. <laughs> oh. Closer. Take it from an angle. Let's see. Oh. Oh, guys, I'm going to see you for the last one. Come on, sir. One more to go. Oh. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> zero out of five. Congratulations to most of you for getting that right. <laughs> Cheers, Leon. Thanks for your help, mate. Absolute legend. Bang. Got our snacks for the second half. Got my assistant here. We've got a Liverpool fan over here. Who's your favourite Liverpool player? Salah. He's a legend, isn't he? Do you think he'll sign a new contract? You can tell it's a hot summery day by the state of my time out. A quick selfie. <laughs> Here he is, absolute legend, what a top guy. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Hey! 4-0, hey! Actually, um... It's actually your favorite, you said you got a picture of your favorite yeah. East Kilbride player there, but he's gone. No, he's left to go to St. Rocks. Yeah. Sad about that? Yes. But 4-0 now? They played quite well, haven't they? Is it 4-0? Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was 3. 3-5-0. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any VAR for the pen? <laughs> it did look contentious, it did look contentious. EK have got a pen. Do you think they're going to score? <laughs> no. You don't think he'll score? You're going to miss? <laughs> no. I don't she, think gonna miss. she thinks he's going to miss. <laughs> she thinks he'll miss. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Here we go, chance to make it six. Bottom left. Oh, keeper saved it. You were right. Yeah, I was She was right. right. There we go, it is 6 0 to East Kilbride. Absolutely dominating Gretna now. Feel for Gretna, it's a long way to come. They've got three subs and they're losing 6 0, but good performance from EK. You're on filming duty again. East Kilbride. I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Right, so we did have one of these at half time. We'll do a pie review. Look at this, zoom in on that. Meaty pie. Wow. Pretty solid, I'd say. Let's... Mm. Got a bit of like a haggisy taste. Do you know what I mean? You had one in there. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a haggisy taste. Do enjoy it. 11 out of 10. You'll be in this vid, so you get to watch it. You get to see yourself on TV. You get to see yourself on YouTube. It'll be famous, everyone will be coming up to you. 
asking you for autographs and selfies and all that. You're famous. East Coast Bride's most famous fan. Come on, Matthew. I'm just I don't know. Touch. On this week's episode of our Kelty winning, the answer is yes. And they are now 16 points clear with five games to go if it stays the same. So, Kelty are a couple of minutes away from becoming League Two champions. Look at that. What a beautiful day to watch some non-league football this has been. If you haven't gone out and enjoyed non-league day, then shame on you. But next weekend or maybe there's a midweek game or whatever near you in the non-leagues, you have to go and watch it because what a day I've had. Met some fantastic characters in there um, today. My crossbar challenge was absolutely terrible. The less said about that, the better. Um, but yeah, Kelty, I, I just need to touch on that. They've just been, yeah, they've, they've now mathematically won League Two. I bet the scenes at New Central Park are incredible. Um, obviously they're a big part of my non-league journey on this channel was watching Kelty rise through the Lowland League um, over the last couple of years and into League 2 so that, um, that path is there for clubs now so hopefully East Kilbride can do that soon um, get up into the SPFL and win League 2 and stuff that would be incredible to see but um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video please hit that like button please subscribe if you're new it would really really help me out do remember to check out Fanbase as well today's sponsor I'll leave some videos on screen please click on one to carry on watching thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.